What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is As The Cheese Gaming. In recent weeks, I've taken a look at a couple video games based off cartoons, such as Tom and Jerry's and Fist of Furry, or Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. So let's continue that trend. In this week's review, I'm going to take a look at Tiny Toons Adventure Buster Bust Loose, which was made and developed by Konami with a North American release date of August 16th, 1993. This game is a side-scrolling action platformer that sees you play as Buster from the cartoon series Tiny Toons Adventure. There's no story for this game per se, but instead, each level is its own skit and it's kind of separate from the whole. Best way I can describe it is just, it's like you're playing an actual cartoon. All the original characters from the Tiny Toons universe are here, such as Babs, Daffy, and Dizzy, just to name a couple. In this game, you get three lives and five continues. Unless you're on easy mode, then you get unlimited continues to get through six levels, with the boss at the end. Also, at the end of each level is a random minigame that you could play. For example, one of the mini games that you could play is Racquetball, while another one might be a game of match cards. They're kind of a cool novelty, but honestly, I feel that they distract a little bit from the overall game. Now, if you grew up in the 16-bit era like I did, you know that Konami is a household name. And when it comes to controls, most Konami games are absolutely phenomenal. Well, this one is no exception. The dash mechanic in this game is going to become your new best friend. So once you learn and master that, you'll be flying through these levels with absolutely no problem. Two buttons to dash, one button to jump, and one button to do like a flip kick, I guess you'd call it. But once you master these controls, I think you'll have a lot of fun. Next, I'd like to touch briefly on the music and sound effects in this game. Both of these are pulled directly from the original cartoon. And while the music isn't the greatest on the console for the Super Nintendo, it does fit overall with the theme of this game. So I have no complaints here. Now finally, to end this review, is Tiny Toons Adventure, Buster Bus Luth, worth picking up and adding to your collection today? Simply put, absolutely. This is a wonderful title that surprisingly enough has stayed relatively cheap with a price trading price of $10. If you're in the mood for a fun platformer, I would highly recommend picking this one up and playing it for an afternoon. Thanks for watching, and until next time everybody.